Today on Sci Guys, Physics of Sound, Part 1. Welcome to Sci Guys. Over the next two episodes, we're going to be exploring the physics of sound. I'm Ryan. I'm Adam. And on this episode, singing wine glasses. Thanks to Reddit user Asynchronous Chat for suggesting it. Ah! Ah! We need a new wine glass. That one's off key. Right. Wine glass. Acoustic resonance is a tendency for an object to vibrate at a specific frequency. When an object's vibration reaches this natural frequency, its motion amplifies, and this can be heard as sound. The equipment you can need for this experiment is a wine glass, either glass or crystal. And the ingredients are water, some dish soap to wash your hands with, and possibly some food coloring if you want to make some colors. Even though we're not dealing with anything hazardous today, it's never a bad idea to wear your lab coat or apron and some goggles to protect against spills and splashes. Let's start this experiment off by washing our hands to remove any of the oils from our fingers. The natural oils on our fingers can prevent sounds from being produced. Next, get an empty wine glass. Then lightly wet your finger. Now, using only the pad of your finger and a light touch, Drag your finger along the rim of the glass. There should be some friction, but not too much. This may take some practice. If you do it right, you should hear a sound. Once you've been able to produce a loud, clear tone with the glass, take note of the pitch, or better yet, record the sound. Now pour some water into the glass and try to make the sound again. Optionally, you can add a little bit of food coloring so you can see the water level better. Repeat this multiple times with varying levels of water. We've lined up three wine glasses of the same shape and filled them with different levels of water so we can compare the sounds that they produce. Here's how they sound. As you add water to a wine glass, the pitch gets deeper. Why is this? Let's look at this a little closer. In order to figure out why a wine glass produces sound, we should first look at what sound is. Sound, at its most basic level, is waves of pressure traveling through the air that move particles of air in a repeating pattern. The movement of these particles are interpreted by our ears as sound. As you slide your finger around the rim of the glass, the ridges in your finger slip and stick, causing the wine glass to vibrate at its natural frequency. Just like a violin bow, slips and sticks as it moves across a violin string. This is called slipstick motion. Wetting your finger allows it to easily slide along the rim of the glass. The vibration produced by your finger travels around the glass. If your finger reaches a vibration at the right time, it will cause the vibration to amplify. This is repeated over and over again, and once these vibrations reach the natural frequency of the glass, it causes air molecules to vibrate at the same frequency. These vibrations travel from the air around the glass to your ears, and it's heard as sound. This process is known as acoustic resonance. Changing the speed or pressure of your finger can make the sound louder or softer, but it doesn't change the vibration frequency. The vibration frequency is always determined by the shape, size, and structure of the glass. If we take three wine glasses that are different shapes and sizes, and you run your finger along the rim, you can hear the difference in tone that's produced. So why does the sound produced from our wine glass change when we add water? As you add water to our wine glass, the mass of the wine glass increases. This increase in mass causes the wine glass to vibrate in larger and further apart waves. The larger and further apart the waves are, the lower the pitch of sound that the wine glass produces. If we compare the sound waves of a glass with a little bit of water versus one with lots of water, we can see the difference in the shape of the sound waves that are produced. Your finger doesn't stay in place, so the vibration pattern has to follow your finger around the rim. A neat way to see this vibration pattern is to fill a glass almost full of water, and then rub your finger around the rim. Now, when the glass sings, you can see ripples in the water near the sides of the glass. These ripple patterns rotate around the glass to follow your finger. That was Physics of Sound Part 1, Singing Wine Glasses. I hope you enjoyed it. In Part 2, we're going to be looking at bottle flutes. If you like this episode, please uh, subscribe to us on YouTube and drop us a comment. 
Make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to science or if you're having trouble in school, feel free to drop us a message and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching. Bye. I still think that wine glass was out of key. Here at SciGuys, we're always curious how experiments turn out, so if you do these experiments at home, record them and submit them to us as a video reply to this video. But remember, always get your parents' permission before you submit any videos to YouTube.